Okay, another easy example coming your way for Quick Basic 64. First, I'm going to title it. I'm going to use the remark command, R E M, and it's going to be called graph a curve. How is that? That's what we're going to do right now. Um, this language is kind of old, and you have to tell it to go to graphics mode if you want to have graphic output. So, screen 12 is one of the modes for graphics. And when we set that up, we need to set the window, kind of like you do on your graphing calculator. So if you uh, set a window, let's say we'll go negative 1, comma, negative 1. That's the lower x and y. And we're going to graph to, say, uh, 10, comma, 10. So now we have a window. Um, let's put in some axes. We can do the line command, line. And we'll go 0, comma, 0, 2, uh, 10, comma, 0. And, oh, I didn't like that, 10, comma, 0. And then we can go line 0, comma, 0, 2, 0, comma, 10. Hey, let's just run this and see what this looks like. Well, we got what we thought we'd get, right? Just the axes. Okay. Let's try writing the program to graph an equation. So let's just come down here a little bit and we're going to have an equation y equals c times x squared. Well, how do I get it to plot this out? I'm going to have to give it some values for x. I can say 4x equals 0, 2. Uh, we can go to 10. And we'll say next x. So now we put the equation in the loop. It's going to go around it 10 times, plotting out. Well, it didn't plot anything yet. It's just going to calculate the value of y. So we need to tell it um, what to plot. And we could use the pset command to plot x comma y. And we need to specify what c is. So c is going to be equal to, we had before, 0.25. All righty, let's run this program and see what we get. I see some dots, a dot here, 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 and here. That's very nice. I think I'd like to fill that in though. Well, maybe what we could do here is say, instead of counting x by ones, maybe we can count it by something smaller. Say step point one. And We'll run it. Sure did a nice job. Got all my dots in a line. Now I'm going to show you something else. When this thing goes into its window to do the graphics, the program could already be done by the time uh, the graphics are by the time the window is ready. So I'm going to use the sleep command. That tells the computer, just wait. Don't do anything. We're going to get to the graphics, set up the window, and then we're going to wait for the computer to catch up. I'll have to hit a key to start at, uh, the program from that point on. So you'll see what I mean in a second. We're going to run this. I have a blank screen here. I got my axes drawn, but it's waiting for me to hit a key. So I'll hit enter. And now it drew the curve. So the sleep command just pauses things and waits for us to get it to go. Now I could try even 0.01. There we go. And there it is. It goes pretty quick, doesn't it? So the computer is very fast at drawing these things. So now you could, for example, con continue on with this program and try to calculate the area under the curve. And you can change the coefficient out front. We can make it 0.11 if you wanted to. We could change the limits. We could say for x equals, say, 4 to eight and we can run it and that's the section of the graph so you could you should try to modify this program now and see if you can get it to uh calculate the area under the curve like we talked about the other night